Universities like Indiana State and Terre Haute make up a major part of downtown's economy. But what happens when those students and staff head out of town for summer vacation? News 10's Melissa Crash has the answer in tonight's Economy Watch 10. Indiana State students are packing up and heading back home for summer break. But when the students leave, local businesses like Jay Gumbo's notice their daily customers begin to disappear. We're, we're, we're going to be patient and wait and see and, uh, you know, we'll do the best we can. During the school year, sycamores like Allie Klein are happy for a busy downtown. Um, it is great just to go ahead and we, sometimes we'll just go on walks and we can just be comfortable downtown, know that it's a safe environment and a safe area. According to economics professor Robert Gill, Indiana State contributes millions to Terre Haute's economy. The, the university has essentially spending that is in the 200 million range, so the, in, in that ballpark. Okay, multiply that by two and you get the economic impact of Indiana State. Indiana State employs about 4,200 jobs in the area. And with students moving out for the summer and heading home, that has companies making sure to put out the help wanted sign. Jay Gumbo's owner, Jeff Havermel, can relate. We probably have uh, about half our students or, you know, that are going attending. Officials hope with the 500 Wabash addition to downtown, the slow summer months won't be a problem in the future. More importantly for downtown is the movement toward downtown. And with more students downtown, that means sales can continue to boom May through August. In Terre Haute with photojournalist David Essex, Melissa Crash, News 10. Now there is one thing that local businesses do kind of look forward to when it comes to students heading home for the summer. Business owners told News 10 that parking becomes less of a hassle.